Welcome to the spoken tutorial on arithmetic instructions. In this tutorial, we will learn about arithmetic instructions. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 18.04 operating system LD Micro. To follow this tutorial, you should know the working of one shot instructions. If not, please refer to the relevant tutorials in this series on this website. LD Micro has four arithmetic instructions. They are add, subtract, multiply, and divide. In LD Micro, these instructions can handle only up to 16 bit signed integer values. Floating point numbers are not handled by these instructions. Now, we will learn about working of these instructions. Let us open LD Micro. Let us start with an example of the add instruction. First, place a contact from instructions. Next, to the right of it, insert an add instruction as shown. Rename the contact as switch. Now, double click on the add instruction. A dialog box opens which has three inputs. First, we have destination. It should be the variable name to which you want to save the result. Enter the variable name as result. Then the next two columns are operands. These can be either constants or variables. Enter the operands as 4 and 5 respectively. Click on the OK button. Observe that the type of result is shown as general variable. Also, we can observe that there is no prefix before its name. Note that the variables can also be timer and counter variables. We will learn about these variables in the later tutorials. We will now check the working of this logic. Let us turn on the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then non-simulation mode. Next, start real-time simulation as shown. Initially, the state of X switch and result are 0. Change the state of X switch to 1. We can observe the value of variable result changes to 9. Turn off the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then on halt simulation. Then click simulate and simulation mode. Change the second operand in the add instruction to 40,000. Click the OK button. Turn on the simulation mode. A dialog box appears. It says constant 40,000 out of range minus 32,768 to 32,767 inclusive. This means that operand should be Signed 16 bit integers. Click the OK button. Now, change the second operand to 32,767 as shown. Start real time simulation. Change the state of X switch to 1. We can observe the value of the result changes to minus 32,765. That is, the result of the add operation is also a signed 16 bit integer. Change the state of X switch to 0 and then again to 1. We can observe that the state of the variable result doesn't change. Thus, the add operation happens only once. Now, we will try to increment a variable on every switch press. Also, we will understand the importance of one-shot instructions. 
turn off the simulation mode as shown. Double click on the add instruction. Change the second operand to variable result. Start real time simulation as shown. Change the state of X switch to 1. We can observe that the value of result keeps changing rapidly. It keeps updating until the state of X switch is 1. Turn off the simulation mode. How can we prevent PLC from evaluating the instruction on each cycle? We can do that by using a one-shot instruction. Let us try doing this on LD Micro. Place an OSR instruction to the right of X switch. Start real-time simulation. Change the state of X switch from 0 to 1. We can observe that the state of the variable result changes to 4. That is, add operation happens only once. Change the state of X switch back to 0. Again, change the state of X switch from 0 to 1. We can observe that the state of the result changes to 8. That is, add operation happens only when input changes its state from low to high. Turn off the simulation mode. Save the ladder diagram as add.ld. As an assignment, replace an OSF in the place of OSR and observe the result variable. Observation The value changes when the input goes from high to low. That is, when the state of X switch goes from 1 to 0. When to use OSR or OSF? Use OSR when you want the change in count to happen when the switch is pressed. Use OSF when you want the change to happen when the switch is released. Next, we will look at other arithmetic instructions. The instructions subtract, multiply and divide work in the similar way as of addition. Note that the divide instruction gives quotient as the result. Explore these instructions on your own. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about arithmetic instructions. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions on Open PLC? Please visit the FOSI forum and post your question. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. And this is Harsha Priyanka from FOSI team, signing off. Thanks for watching.